my first question is, in 2021, you tweeted, I now think there is a 50% chance that we will reach longevity escape velocity by 2036. After that point, the methuselarity, those who regularly receive the latest rejuvenation therapies will never suffer from age-related ill health at any age. Can you explain to the listeners what makes you so optimistic, particularly when this is a problem that we've been trying to address since essentially the dawn of civilization? Well, uh, I, I guess you want me to do that in a, in, <laughs> in a concise way, which is not trivial. So, um, well, essentially, whenever any big dramatic technological breakthrough occurs, it is preceded by a lot of stuff that doesn't have any real um, you know, visibility. You know, something, uh, something like power and flight, for example, you know, Nobody could know, no, no random person in the street could know that that was going to happen. But the people who were working on aerodynamics and you know, things like lift and so on, they were putting the bits together and they kind of knew that there were um, you know, ways forward that might work. So it's the same in this situation. It's really only the people at the cutting edge, the experts who are looking at all of the various necessary component technologies and advances that r would be required. It's only people like that that can really um, make an assessment of this. Now, of course, even then, the assessment is very speculative because you never know what kind of surprises you're going to encounter in the run-up to actually bringing the thing off. Um, so that's why I always give my predictions the way you describe them as probability. I think there's at least a 10% chance that we won't get to longevity escape velocity for 100 years. That doesn't bother me, of course, because, um, you know, a 50% chance is quite enough to be worth fighting for. 